Where are they at? Are you on the Twitter page? Yeah. It says um, one block from Golden Gopher on 8th toward the 110 freeway. La, la, la. What does Kogi mean to you? Like, why why did you decide to get into this? You, you, uh, you grew up here. You, yeah. you did the thing. You went to New York, and you, you cooked at all the finest places. You came here. And at some point, uh -huh. you said. Well, I I have to s go back to that. Kogi is not just me. You know, Kogi is like, it's like this co-op, this conglomeration of of like really really, in like budding talents. Everything about Kogi. Um, is each person in the group has contributed. All I do is cook the food, but um, Kogi is made up of about seven people. Uh, how, it in the, how it originally started was the co-owner, Mark Mangara. He worked with me at the Beverly Hilton, and uh, after I left Rock Sugar, I was kind of out of a job. I was, you know, running out of cash. I was just like kind of, he called me up, and it was more of like kind of a shoulder to cry on type of thing. We we're having coffee, we we're just hanging out. And he looked at me, he's like, you know, Roy, why don't we open up a Korean barbecue taco truck? You know, and then um, he came up with that idea with his sister, uh, uh, not his sister, his wife and his wife's sister. Um, Caroline is also an owner. She really, she works at the Four Seasons and she really set the standard for all our, our service. So even though we're, we're a dirty, you know, ghetto taco truck, it's like when you come up to it, you, you're being greeted like you're walking into the Four Seasons. Oh, oh my god, what is that? Look at that! Look at that. Royal treatment, look at that. What is oh this? Oh my goodness. Huh? What is, okay. Who's gonna get jealous? Who's gonna get jealous? <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? He's holding a camera, man. What can I do? Awesome, thank you so what much. Is, which, what are all these? Um, I mean, the white one is tofu, it's a little dark. But uh, you'll know when you take a bite. I apologize. I think this one's chicken, pork, and short rib. Okay. We Chicken, pork, is. short rib, and tofu. This is, this is uh, tofu. This looks like the the chicken. This looks like the short rib and this the pork. You might this these two might be different. Uh, okay. Different. And what's on here? Is it is it a different meat but the same uh, toppings? Yeah. Same okay. Toppings. And the same size. So a little bit of lettuce and onions and onion, cilantro, lettuce. Uh, it's it's uh, romaine, cabbage, green onion. Okay. All right. Uh, with the like, chef's homemade dressing. So. You have to put that camera down and eat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one, this is what, the kimchi uh, quesadilla right yeah, here, right? I think this is a beef one. one. Let's see. I don't know what it is, but it is? Okay. You'll know when you bite into it. I will. It tastes like chicken. What? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Okay. Chicken, the other white beef. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good. You can hold that. You could eat. It's like a dream taco. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It gets my wiggle of approval. <laughs> He's a bad actor. <laughs> no, I'm just messing. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. Ew, gross. The funny thing is we started on trucks and I thought that when we nice. would get a kitchen, things would be a lot easier. But our kitchen is the size of a truck. So <laughs> it really hasn't helped much. But, but it really it really helped. Hold on one second. This is Connie. She's a student at Cordon Bleu. She's helping out. I'm just gonna get by here real quick. Honey. So these are all. Our, this is Marlin, our sous chef. Hi. Hey, Lupita, Hi. my mom. Hi. Hey, my hey. <laughs> <laughs> You know. Um, this is all our meats right here. This is our chicken. This is our short rib. This is our pork. We have three meats. Three meats and tofu. These will, these will all get cooked off right right now and then distributed through the trucks and then also some for us. 300 pounds of meat. Um, and then we go through about 50 pounds of onions, about 50 pounds of uh, lettuce mix. Um, and then, you know, we have our sauces here. I'll show you. So we have to be very creative in how we <laughs> hold our marinades because the marinades have to go overnight. So we got to pack them in Ziploc bags and then line them up. We have all our sauces here. This is our vinaigrette and then our marinades and then our salsa roja is back there. Um, but you can see that, you know, through all of this, we, we try to keep a very clean kitchen, a very organized kitchen. But it's also, 
it's also a riddle and a puzzle every day because we have to take all of this, I, I call it like fitting an elephant into a telephone booth because you have to take all this stuff and figure out how you're going to prep it, cook it, distribute it out to the two trucks and then also cook for yourself. All right. Cameraman HP gets to get his quesadilla. How can I do the camera work? You want to? I'll do the camera work. You could hold this. You got me? You guys need to be like right next to each other. Mm. What is that, the kimchi quesadilla? Yeah, the kimchi quesadilla. Would you mind? I'm gonna hold it. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You guys, they gotta make sure uh, they know who's the cameraman. This is Hoogie Guy, Steve, I'm the cameraman tonight. <laughs> awesome. All right. Okay, now you have to take a bite of one of those. That's the tofu. I think you're gonna let, let me guess. Oh, sorry. Do you want me to spin it around and then you get, <laughs> can you like, pick it again? No, no. Look at that. Oh, oh man, that it's dripping. Yeah. It's dripping. <laughs> oh my god. Mm. It's great. Dude, it's a tortilla, not a spoon. <laughs> that is so good. Did you have this yet? No. <laughs> Dude, like that taco went all the way in his mouth and came back. Mmm. <laughs> I, was really tired. I don't think I've ever had a tofu taco before. Really? Mm -hmm. Me neither before I jumped on the truck. Yeah, well, have you had a kimchi quesadilla yet? No, I have. Well, I know. I have <laughs> not. As a matter of fact. What is this sauce on top? That is the same salsa roja that goes on top of tacos. Okay, here we go. Kimchi quesadilla. Mm. Um, what is not to love? So what, what goes into a Korean barbecue? It's an ancient marinade. Chinese secret, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, a Korean marinade, um, the kalbi the the, the base right here is the base marinade. This is a short rib. Mm -hmm. Again, this meat is all bought from Premier Meats. This is top end short rib. Um, they've been very generous to me to, to cut the price down in order for me to provide the service for the public. Uh, this is all natural chickens. Um, this is all natural pork. Um, pork belly, we do a blend of pork belly and pork butt. We do natural thighs and legs on the chickens. And then we do a short rib blend that I created with them with the trimmings from all their New Yorks, their dry aged New Yorks and, and uh, top end New Yorks, ribeyes, flanks, and um, any other meats that they have. All the trimmings and then also we have short rib, pure, pure short rib as well. Um, and uh, the, mar the Kybe marinade is Soy sauce, sesame oil, sugar, garlic, ginger, green onions, you know, sesame seeds. I mean, those, those are, that's the foundation of Korean cooking. Um, from there, I, I write my recipes really simple because, you know, um, I laugh at, I, I don't laugh. I, 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 I like, I, I look at recipes sometimes and I, it's like I can't even understand them, you know, and so. If you can't understand yeah, them. Yes. So the way I try to write recipes is because, you know, in most cases, Who's reading your recipes? They're cooks, and what are they doing? They're busting their ass every day, moving, moving, moving. So my recipes are like five cups of this, three cups of this, two cups of this, but stick in it and blend it, you know, and then that's really it. And so the base of the, the kalbi recipe goes into the, goes into the pork recipe. So then okay. you make the kalbi recipe, and then you can take the base of the kalbi recipe and add Korean chili paste, which is called gochujang, and you add chili powder, and then all kinds of different things like garlic and stuff like that. And then from, from this base, from this base as well, we create our chicken base, which is the same base and then we add different ingredients. We add more of a citrus flavor to it with more garlic and sh more sugar and things like that. I don't know why everyone's going ape shit over $2 tacos, to be honest, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, they're good, but I mean... Well, I mean three words. Two dollar tacos. Yeah, two dollar <laughs> tacos, yeah. But I, I think it's because of our honesty, you know. I'm free to do whatever I want to do. There's no, there's no uh, structure or stipulation that I have to follow. Um, and everything that the public gets from me is, is, or from our team, is honest, you know. The same reason why maybe some people get frustrated with us uh, whether we're late or we run out of food or, or they can't get this or they can't get that or, you know, I think because of that is also the reason why uh, Kogi has become what it's become is because we're a reflection of who we are as people. So I think 
because Kogi is kind of like a mirror to themselves, um, is, is why it's become so popular.